Thanks for coming back. Today we review Demolition Man from 1993 for this week's Harry Movie Club. Demolition Man, in my opinion, is definitely a classic action film, and I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it. If you've not seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, quickly, I would say that it still holds up, and there are definitely things to still uh, make this movie watchable and enjoyable. I don't really think there's anything that's detracted from it in time. It's been... Oh yeah, 21 years, that's old I am. It's been 21 years, and it doesn't look like anything has uh, aged terribly or anything like that. So the movie follows John Spartan, the good guy, played by Sylvester Stallone, trying to take out Simon Phoenix first in 1996, and then into the future in 2032. I really like how uh, Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes interact in this movie. I really think it was a good uh, hero-villain pairing. And then we have Lenina Huxley there, played by Sandra Bullock, and she's there kind of to guide Spartan through uh, the future because he has awakened and everything has changed from when he was frozen. In this movie, there are other notable people. There's uh, Nigel Hawthorne. He plays Dr. Raymond, and uh, he's been in a lot of things. He was in the voice of Tarzan as Professor Porter, I guess. Didn't know that one. But uh, he's been in a lot of other things that I've seen him in. Then we also have... Uh, Rob Schneider makes a cameo in this. He's good for the comedic relief. And then Dennis Leary is in this. He plays Edgar Friendly, kind of the uh, future. He's kind of like the future Simon Phoenix, but less t intense. Simon Phoenix was actually released to take out Edgar Friendly because he's been trying to cause a revolution in the now uh, pretty much peaceful society. The reason Spartan was frozen along with Phoenix is because when Phoenix got captured, Spartan was blamed for the collateral damage, which kind of made it like a good anti-hero in that he still has to try to redeem himself. But we do get that all cleared up at the end, which is even better because then when Spartan finally does get rid of Phoenix permanently, it even uh, makes you feel a little happier. The movie overall is definitely, I'd say, a keep. I don't have any faults with this. There are comedic bits. Some things are still a little confusing, like three seashells. I don't know if they actually just use those to, like, wipe their crack, because that would be sore as shit. But toilet papers disband. I probably couldn't even say shit, or I'd be fined again. I really like the movie. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. If you have seen it already, it's worth the rewatch. Like I said, it hasn't, it hasn't aged poorly. I'd say it's aged very well. Thanks for watching this installment of Today We Review. As I indicated, it was for Harry Movie Club, so there's going to be the annotation there. Click on it to take you to the playlist of responses from everyone. It's Mr. Harry Burt's channel, so definitely check him out. If you want to comment down below about your thoughts on this movie, or other ones that you'd like me to review, or even ones that you just think are good to watch, I would appreciate it. You can find me uh, here, below comments, or on Twitter, at MadLFan. Use hashtag TodayWeReview. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back soon.